Like thousands of other Mobile area residents, I was also awakened early Saturday morning by the thunderous jolt which shook the foundations around me. I grabbed a video unit, rushed to the scene, and found the barge engulfed in flames. The explosion and resulting fire could be heard and seen for miles. Brisk winds luckily blew the burning spill away from the remaining three barges on the tow. The barges were en route from a refinery on the Chickasaw Creek to Lake Charles, Louisiana. No one was injured in the Saturday morning explosion and fire. The bridge tender, Tom Kennedy, miraculously escaped from the shack high above while the bridge was still in the up position. The captain and crew of the tug, W.F. Friedemann Jr., backed off just moments before the explosion, and Scott Paper Company employees were evacuated as a precautionary measure. Spraying water on the burning barge was ineffective in extinguishing the blaze, but it wound up being the only effective way the firefighters could keep the flames from spreading upstream. Mobile's only fireboat, the Ramona Doyle, is thus being given credit for containing the blaze to the immediate area of the explosion. It was an all-day effort by the men of Fireboat 2. They were exhausted when the fire was finally extinguished at 2.55 p.m. as they returned to the foot of Government Street. Thank <laughs> you.